Hey everyone and welcome to episode 6 of my creation kit tutorial series. What we're going to do today is we're going to edit some terrain and edit a workshop location. We're also going to expand the border of the workshop and do a couple of things like that. Okay, so let's just get loaded in here. Okay, now that the uh, Christian kit's had 900 years to load, we're going to go to save and we're going to create a new file. So I'm going to call this, uh, hmm, what should I call this? Fart Munch. Fart Munch 2, the sequel. Okay. I don't know if you read any of my uh, fucking save files, but I always call them something stupid. Um, okay. So let's pick a, a good uh, a good workshop location to edit. As you can see, we're in uh, Oberland Station, so first things first, we're going to get rid of uh, this, and we're going to try and float as much of the workshop stuff as we can. So... Uh, actually better than that, we'll just hide it, we'll just hit one. So this little guy here, make sure you hide the border. Hide this little thing here. This here. This. This. Uh, oh, come on. Two beds. And what have we got left? Pretty much nothing of any importance. So what I'm going to do is just select all this shape and hit. Oh, fuck. I'm going to hide these two dudes. Okay. Try that again. Highlight all that and delete it. Bye bye. Okay. Now, I might actually delete some of this stuff in the border because we're going to make it a little bit bigger. Delete that. Delete all this shit. What's this? Delete this huge tree. Delete. Goodbye. Ugly rock. Goodbye. This. Goodbye. This. Goodbye. Okay. Now oh, let's Alt-1 and get everything back. Okay. Hit M to bring your uh, border back. And you can see this big massive red box here that I'm looking at. This is your axe marker. What you're going to do is double click that and go to... Uh, let's just find it. Primitive. Okay, Bounds. This is the important one here, Bounds. This is your workshop location where you can actually edit stuff. So I'm going to go to... I'm going to make this quite a bit bigger. I'm going to make this 4,000 by 4,000 by 3,000 make it a bit higher too okay let's see if that's big enough nope gonna make it bigger again gonna make it 5,000 by 5,000 okay so yeah that's pretty decent sized uh, location now gonna double click that Zoom out so I can see everything, and we're going to make that bigger too. Okay. This is just your little, you're going to see that when you're in game, that's going to tell you if you're, you know, in or out of the bounds, but you don't have to do this step, but, you know, it's obviously helpful whenever you're in game. So I just scale that up, and now you can see that's pretty tight to that box. Okay. Now we should probably find something to find somewhere to put this uh, thing here. Oh, find a couple uh, sneaky lights that we don't need. Or else they're just gonna be—they're just gonna be floating orbs if you uh, don't get rid of stuff like that, guys. Okay. Now, apart from the floating beds, oh, did not want that. Flooring that with the F key. Drag it 
refine that a little bit more. And okay. Now I'm going to save that. And I'm going to find somewhere to put this because it's just sort of out in the open. Actually. Yeah, we're just going to do it for the purpose of the tutorial. That's another little tip here. See if you guys want to get like a wee box or like a little, I don't know, shed or something. You can obviously just steal it from another uh, cell. So let's see. Starlight drive in. That'll be a good place to steal something from. Uh, starlight. Okay, it's hiding on me. Don't click that. Let it load in. Find where the fuck the workshop is. Nope, oh, it's in that shed. Gonna unclick M because we don't want that selected for uh, right now. Hit T, the top. Steal this little box. Deselect the uh, workshop because obviously we don't want that. Make sure, make sure nothing else is uh, selected. That didn't work. Okay. Fuck you too. Select it again. Deselect this. Oh my god. Attempt number fucking three. Select this. Listen, I don't want all this shit. Select the fucking shed. And deselect that. There you go. Well fucking done, mate. Congratulations. Okay. Now we can control C that. I'm gonna go back to Overland Station. Double click that. Bump. Where are you? Wait for the fucking stuff to appear. There you are. We're gonna control V that. Put it somewhere outside the bounds. Okay, the bounds is pretty low actually. I can't really see that. It's gonna be floating like, but at least you guys know we'll, we'll know where it is. So put that pretty close to the edge. Whatever you do, whenever you've got quite a lot of uh, objects, don't don't hit F because it's gonna just uh, floor everything in there, and anything that is floored is gonna go through the floor. So. There we go, that's nice. Put that pretty low, find that somewhere nice where we can put that. So that looks like. Alright, nice. I'm just gonna go stall that to make it easy for myself. Okay. Now, workshop. Big thing about the workshop is whenever you remove you move this. Unless you put a script in to tell the game to actually move it to where you moved it to, it's not going to move. Whenever you, you were attempting to move a reference with tag location. Do you wish to move it anyway? Yes. Fuck off. Wait, what the fuck did I move? I don't know. It's just being stupid. Okay. No. Yes. Do you know what? Fuck it. Yes. Don't care. Just, just ignore that. I'm sure it'll be fine. Everything still seems to be linked, so we're gonna ignore that. It's because I've uh, moved it to a different cell. Obviously, because this is quite a big area now, the cell's quite a lot bigger. Okay. What's that look like? Fucking dead on, double click that, and then we're gonna add the script that we were talking about a second ago. Script, add, then we're gonna go to move, I've already typed it in. Default move to editor location, unload, hit OK. You're gonna need to put something in there, just hit OK, it's just it'll go to default zero, so just OK through that. So whenever you're doing that, just OK. So, now, now I've got that new script there, you can hit OK, and now whenever we load in the game, Let's just alt one to make sure everything's okay. I'm gonna reload in the game, that should be moved and everything should be out of there. Okay. Um Okay, before we go, what I'm gonna actually do is paint this a little bit. 
So I'm going to hit 3 to edit radius, and I'm going to go to, let's see. Pre-war grass, rotate. I decided I didn't like that, so I'm going to actually change that texture to something else. Pre-war dirt. Nope, that's pretty diarrhea to it. That looks like poop. <sighs> what to do? What to do? I sort of want to get rid of this, so... floor dirt okay let's just right click uh, is paint by the way so if whenever you guys are trying to you know paint just hold in right click and you can try not to draw on a floor really try not to draw over anything that's gonna look poopy after you do it like I just did so Obviously removing grass and stuff is going to give you a better frame rate too, so bear that in mind. Okay, H to get off that. Get rid of some last minute poop. Without uh, deleting that. Delete. Delete. Have a quick little uh, look around. That's ugly, that's ugly, that's ugly. Ooh. Okay, so that's a pretty clean looking uh, building area. So we're going to go ahead and save that, and we're going to save plugin and hot load it into the game. So that's just going to activate the ESP. So save, 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 save. Fart Munch 2 ESP, double save it for luck. And let's get into the game here. Ha, ah, Overland Station, yeah. Now I've probably built stuff here, so just bear in mind that whenever we get here, so. There's those two diarrhea beds huh? we had. Obviously I built all this stuff, so, so I usually won't have, use have this when you download the mod, but if I hold in V right now, as you can see the workshop area is quite a lot bigger. Beds. Now look at that, perfect. And that's at least double the size. Obviously, you could do with a mod like uh, unlimited building and stuff, but this is quite good to start with. The train is quite rocky, so in our next uh, next one, if you guys want to see how to edit the train and flatten it and then renav mesh it like the quick way, just uh, give me a shout. But yeah. So go in here, there's our workshop moved as we wanted it. Again, if you don't put that script in, it's not going to move, so just remember that whenever you're coming to it. Anyway, thanks guys for watching, and hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you like, if you like this, please leave a like. If you didn't, don't. If you guys want to watch more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.